Accumulator? I hardly know her. <laughs> okay, sorry, had to get it out of my system. Anyway, this is the quest to get Ava's device, either the attractor or our accumulator, which is incredibly useful for recovering your ammo, as well as being best in slot for ranged attack bonus. For this quest, you need 18 Slayer, 19 Crafting, 30 Ranged, 35 Woodcutting, and if you're making your own holy symbol, 31 Prayer. If you're buying it from the Grand Exchange, don't worry about it. You need to have completed the Restless Ghost, Priest in Peril, and Ernest the Chicken. If you haven't, I have the links to their quest guides right here for you. Just click on the quest you need. For required items, you'll need a Mithril Axe, some polished buttons, which you can get either at the GE or by pickpocketing ham members at their base, your Ghost Speak Amulet you got in the Restless Ghost quest, four bones, four buckets, four pots, a hard leather, five iron bars, a holy symbol, and a hammer. There's a good amount of traveling around in this quest as well, so I would recommend either a charged amulet of glory or a lumbridge teleports to get to Draenor Manor at least three times, a games necklace or Falador teleport to get to Berthorp, an ectophile if you've done the Ghost of the Hoy quest, or a Varrock teleport to get to the Ectofunctus, and a skills necklace or a teleport to your house if it's in Rimmington to get to the Rimmington mine. Otherwise, you can just run there from Draenor. It should be possible to fit all the items in your inventory, but if not, there will be a few opportunities to bank. My starting inventory looked like this, and I didn't have to bank the whole quest. If you've got everything you need, head to Draenor Manor to start the quest. Head to the room in the west. You can get in by clicking Search Bookcase. Walk through and talk to Ava. Tell her, I would be happy to make your home a better place. She says she needs help fixing her bed? Hmm. Anyway, click through the dialogue. Uh, she wants some undead chickens from the farm in Mauritania near the Ectofunctus. Now, if you've done Ghost the Hoy, you've got it easy. All you have to do is click on your Ectophile and bam, we're there. If you haven't, you have to teleport to Varrock, then follow the path east to the temple, down through the mausoleum to Canifis, and then run north and east along the path until you get there. Once you make it to the Ectofunctus, we have to worship it to get some Ecto tokens. Run up the stairs to the east, and right-click on your bones to use them on the bone grinder. Your character will automatically grind up all the bones in your inventory. When you finish, go back down the staircase and down the trapdoor to the west. Now, unless you have 58 agility to use the shortcut, you have to run all the way around to the east, go down a floor, all the way around to the west, go down another floor, and then back around to the east to go down one last floor to reach this lovely slime pit. Use your bucket on the slime pit and your character will slop up some slime. When you've filled up your four buckets, head back out the way we came to return to the main floor. Now just click on the Ectofunctus to worship it and empty your pots and buckets. Now put on your Ghost Speak amulet and talk to one of the Ghost Disciples and he'll give you some Ecto tokens. Next, head northeast to the farm shop. Inside there will be a lady named Alice. Talk to her and select, I'm here about a quest. You'll ask about some of the undead chickens, but she'll say, talk to her husband instead. He's the ghost out in the cow pen. Apparently he doesn't have a name, just Alice's husband. Click through his dialogue and he'll tell you to talk to his wife about it. It's going to be one of those things. Run back to Alice and select, I'm here about a quest again. Well, because we have a ghost speak amulet, we are stuck being a messenger between them. Alice says she can't find the savings, so go have another word with her husband. He'll say he put the money in the bank. Go tell her that. She says she'll need his bank pass. Bank pass? That's not even a thing. Go talk to him again, but he doesn't trust you enough to tell you where the pass is. Go back and talk to Alice again, and since this is just not working, your character will suggest creating a modified Ghost Speak amulet so Alice and her husband can speak directly. Now if you've done Ghosts Ahoy, you'll remember our, literally, old friend, the old crone. Follow the path west and then north to find her house. Tell her about the farmers east of here, and the old crone will agree to make a special amulet for Alice. 
Talk to her again, and she'll give you the special amulet. Head back to the farm. Run to the cow area and talk to Alice's husband to give him the special amulet. Talk to him again and remind him we still need some of his chickens. We'll see a weird little cutscene about Alice's husband trying to catch some chickens and a guy comes along and kills the cow and then apparently he can catch that chicken. Okay. Anyway, talk to him again after the cutscene and he'll say he'll only sell you the chickens if you have ecto tokens. Ask, could I buy those chickens now then? And then ask for two. He'll give you two chickens in exchange for your 20 ecto tokens. Now head back to Ava and Drainer Manor either with your Amulet of Glory Drainer Teleport or a Lumbridge Teleport. Now that we've helped her, she'll make us the Accumulator. But first, there's some stuff we have to get her, of course. There'll be a bunch of dialogue to click through. You can read it if you want, or just click through it all. Okay, next she says go talk to the witch hanging out in the hallway. We have to make a special magnet, and the witch can help us. Talk to the witch again, and she'll take your five iron bars and give you a selected iron. To make it into a magnet, we need to hit it with a hammer in the middle of the Remington Mine. Either use your skills necklace to teleport to the crafting guild, or teleport to home if your home's in Remington. Or just run, it's not too far. Head to the middle of the mine, near the cart and spade, and make sure to face north. Then use your hammer on the iron thing to turn it into a magnet and then return to Ava to give her the magnet. For our last item, we need a source of magical wood. Ava suggests cutting the mean trees out at the front of the manor. Run around the exit, because the front doors only go one way. Look around for one of the undead trees. There's a few right near the front, and then click on it to chop it. Nothing will happen, and you should get a message in your chat box saying the axe bounces off the undead wood. You should report this to Ava. Head back through the front door and back to Ava. She'll suggest talking to Turail, the Slayer Master in Berthorpe. Either use your games necklace to teleport to the Berthorpe games room, or your Falador teleport and just walk from there. Talk to Turiel and say, I'm here about a quest. Turiel says he can make you a special axe if you give him a mithril axe and a holy symbol. We happen to have both, so just talk to him again. Say you're here about the trees, you'd love an axe, and he'll give you a blessed axe. Head back to Draenor Manor, but don't go inside yet. Find one of the undead trees and chop it with your new axe, and you'll get some undead twigs. That's the last thing we need for Ava's device, so go inside and talk to her. She'll take the twigs from you, but she says she's having some trouble unjumbling her notes. Talk to her again, and she'll give you a copy of the research notes. Click on them, and it'll open a little puzzle screen. Click on each of the green circles except for the second, fifth, and last, so that it looks like this one. Once you've done that, talk to her again to return the notes. With the notes deciphered, she'll say she needs you to combine them with some polished buttons and hard leather. Use one of the items on the other, and they will combine into a container. Talk to her one last time, and we will complete the quest! You'll either receive Ava's Attractor if you're under level 50 range, or Ava's Accumulator, if you're over level 50. Both of them recover most of the player's ammunition. If you die and lose it, you can get another one for Ava for the price of 75 steel arrows and 999 coins. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them for me below, I'll read them. And if you're going to be doing any more quests in the future, you might want to think about subscribing.